like tilted. There you go. Hey y'all, welcome back to Mama Loves Manga. So, I'm here to finally do day 25 of hashtag 25 days. <coughs> I'm here to finally do day 25 of hashtag 25 days of manga. I needed a break y'all. <laughs> also, um, we were spending Christmas Day with my in-laws and um, you know, I just didn't really feel like trying to rush to pre-film and edit and all that jazz. I just didn't want to do it, okay? So here's the final video for this readathon. Thank you to every one of y'all who participated either here on YouTube or on Instagram or on Twitter, wherever you participated. Thank you so much. I hope you had a blast. I had a lot of fun. I did not complete very many of the actual prompts for the bingo. I think I might have completed two, and I don't remember which ones they are. Maybe three. I don't remember which ones they are. I did a terrible job. I didn't even read all that much. I got to volume five of the Tsubasa Omnibus by Clamp. Um, I'm probably a quarter of the way through. I'm having a blast reading it. I'm loving it. I just haven't really made time to sit down and read it as like as much as I would like to. I would love to binge read it, but um, I just have not made the time. And you know, holidays are, <sighs> the holidays, it's a lot. But I do plan to finish that series before the end of the year. That is my goal, so that I can um, get started on other things on my unread TBR. You know, I, I wanna get through that. I gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. I gotta make, gotta, Gonna make it through. Said I'm gonna get through this. Hey, I'm gonna get through this. So did I fail hashtag 25 days of manga? No, I did not. I don't think I did because I have made 25 videos, um, 24 of them in succession. There was only one time that I uploaded one um, way late, like technically I uploaded two in one day. Now it's only because my internet is extremely slow when it comes to uploading. And also I kept putting things off and um, I edited that video quite late, but that's beside the point. So I have posted 24 videos in a row consecutively daily. I'm patting myself on the back, okay? that's. I didn't fail and you didn't fail either if you participated and you maybe didn't hit all the goals you wanted don't look at it as a failure just look at what you did accomplish and bask in that okay okay so anyway today's video is actually going to be about manga that I am excited to pre-order for 2020 I have a list on Amazon because I am constantly forgetting what I want to buy, you know, and so I decided to make a list and check it twice so that I don't accidentally pre-order things multiple times because I have done that and I'm not doing it again. This list is not comprehensive. It's just a few things that I could remember off the top of my head and I will definitely be adding onto this list um, throughout the throughout the year <laughs> um, definitely throughout the rest of this month so what I would like for y'all to do in the comment section let me know what y'all are excited about so that I can look through y'all's list and see if any of those things interest me so that I can add them to my list you know let's just continue to enable each other I'm gonna scoot over because I'm going to have the screen grab here in this area so that y'all can follow along with me as I talk and look at this so I don't feel as rude while I'm looking at my phone. Some of these I just added today. Um, the Rose of Versailles Volume 3 and The Rose of Versailles Volume 2. I already have Volume 1 pre-ordered. I have had it pre-ordered for quite some time. Um, I was hoping that it would be released this month. That didn't happen. It got pushed back to January. That's fine as long as it doesn't get pushed back again, okay, because I, I want it. I need it. I gotta have it. Rosa Versailles is very influential in the you know shoujo manga realm. Just influential in general. You know, we're just gonna it's influential. P 
period. I did not get to watch the anime. There's so much that I missed out on, but I'm aware of because I read manga that references it, and so I've like read you know, translators' notes talking about it. I've read, I've seen people on the internet talking about it, and I'm just sitting here like, but I missed out. And I get to finally join in on the conversation that is Rose of Versailles. So, I'm excited. Next up is Chobit's 20th Anniversary Edition by, you know, that's by Clamp. Listen, they're getting a hardcover edition. I didn't know this. I was today years old when I found out and I posted on Twitter because I'm mad at y'all. Those of y'all who knew about this and did not tell me, y'all know that I stand for... Y'all know. How dare you not tell me? I am so upset. We've been getting a lot of clamp hardcover editions and I'm here for it. What we really need is Tsubasa to be in a gorgeous uh, box set. So. I mean, I'm sure they're already working on that because Kodansha, they want their money, so they're they're going to do what we want. Anyway, so next up on this list is Saint Young Men Volume 3. Um, somewhere on here is Volume 2 as well, but it's not in order, so we're just going to go in order. Um, so Saint Young Men Volume 3, this is by Hikaru Nakamura. I have the first volume. It's I read the first volume on my Kindle, but I also have the first hardcover volume, and it looks great. I love it. I think I mentioned it in one of my, ha I think I mentioned it in one of my recent haul videos, um, so definitely check that out. Next on the list is Card Captor Sakura Clear Card Volume 7. I do have that. I have not started reading this yet because I have not actually started reading Card Captor Sakura, the original one, and it would make sense for me to read the sequel. <laughs> Speaking of, I also have um, the Collector's Edition uh, Volume 3 of Cardcaptor Sakura. That is going to be released um, April 21st, 2020. Oh, and so is Clear Card Volume 7. Um, so not too, too far from now, but you know, it's far enough. Next I have a uh, Volume 7 of City by Keiichi Arawi. This is going to be released quite soon, January 21st. This is one that I need to play catch up with. I have read uh, the first couple of volumes and I enjoyed it, but I um, have not continued reading anymore because I forget things. Next on here is The Conditions of Paradise by Akiko Morishima. Um, this is a Yuri title that I'm very excited about. It's a, I believe it's a Jose Yuri title. So they are grown women and um, this is going to be released March 17th, 2020. Next is Still Sick Volume 2 by Akashi. I am currently buddy reading the first volume with my friend Melissa from Melissa Reads. I think that's what her YouTube name is. I can't remember her Twitter handle. I'll put her information in the description box. She's great. I adore her. Melissa, I adore you. Um, but we are buddy reading Volume 1 of Still Sick and um, I have a Twitter thread that I've started so that she and I can like talk about it and chat um, and people can join in if they want, you know, if they've read it. But we're reading a chapter a day. I'm very excited about this series. Uh, Tokyo Pop is trying to get back in people's good graces. I see you, Tokyo Pop. Listen, I used to, I stand for you back in the day and then, you know, things happened. I, I guess we're not going to talk about it. Enough people have talked about it, so I'm not going to continue to shame you. But, you know, I'm open and willing to let you, you know, to let you show that you have changed and grown. You have, you have ascended. Please maybe um re-release Supply, Supri, you know, finish that one. I would like to see it. Next is Hell's Paradise, Jigo Kuraku. Volume 1 by Yuji Kaku. Um, I heard G talk about this and she did tell me that there's a place I could read it. I think it's on maybe Shonen Jump's website before I, um, you know, decide to like invest in the um, actual volumes. So I'm probably going to do that. But the way she described it sounded really cool. Um, this is going to be released March 17th. I'll probably buy it. <laughs> Usually if G recommends something like 
I, I enjoy it. She has yet to steer me wrong. Next is Spy Family Volume 1 by Tatsuya Endo. I have been following this on the Shonen Jump app and I freaking love it. This is going to be released June 2nd. Um, yeah, I am very excited about this one. I kept seeing some of my mutuals on Twitter uh, talk about this and I was curious. I was like, okay, people keep talking about this Spy X family. Like, what is this? <laughs> I kept thinking about Spy vs. Spy. Do y'all remember that cartoon? I think it was on maybe Mad TV or something like that. Um, I used to love that little I was too young. To be Anyways, I loved that cartoon. But um, I was very curious. So I finally, you know, went to the Shonen Jump app and started reading it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so wholesome and great and fun. Next is volume two of My Androgynous Boyfriend by Tameko. It appeals to me. Okay, I just, I'm excited. So, um, next is Scarlet Volume 1 by Chidi Yuino. This will be released February 11th. This is, if I remember the description correctly that I saw on Twitter, it is sort of a retelling of, um, The Little Red Riding Hood. A Yuri retelling. <laughs> yes. And of course, here is uh, My Androgynous Boyfriend Volume 1 by Tameko. This comes out in February. The only reason I have not hit the pre-order button yet is because um, I was going to wait until January because I've bought a lot of I've bought a lot of manga, and I like to I like to um, space my manga buying out monthly because it makes me feel better. <laughs> That's the only reason. I just, I, it makes me feel like I'm not buying as much. And I'm still buying the same amount, but if I space it out, it's like, oh, see, I didn't do that bad. <laughs> Next, I have The Carp on the Chalking Block Jumps Twice. This is the sequel to The Cornered Mouse loves cheese, gets the cheese. This title will be released on February 11th. Um, I have not read the first volume yet. The Cornered Mouse Cuts the Cheese or whatever, but I'm I'm excited about it. Next up, you'll see volumes four and three of Skullface bookseller Honda-san. This is by Honda. Um, I have done a first impressions of the first volume and I absolutely love it. I did not read the second volume yet. I'm just sort of waiting. Next up, I have volumes two and three of The Way of the House Husband by Kosuke Ono. Um, this is going to be released in January. The second volume will be January 21st. The third volume will be released May 19th. Ooh, that's not too long after my birthday. You know, my birthday is May 14th. You already know I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this man, this this Yakuza man, this stay-at-home Yakuza man who, who we cook in and has back tattoos. I mean, honestly, like my husband already cooks. I'm trying to get him to get a back tattoo. I asked him this morning and he told me he wasn't going to do that. I would love to see it. <laughs> Finally, I have A Man and His Cat by Umi Sakurai. This is going to be released February 11th, and it looks adorable. This is the list. It's quite short right now because, like I said, my memory is terrible, and throughout the year, I have seen so many titles that have interested me, and I've been curious about pre-ordering, um, but I you know, Twitter moves very quickly and I have the memory of a goldfish, the attention span of a goldfish. So now I'm going to have to either go through my tweets um, so that I can add things to my list or I'm just going to have to hope that they get reannounced. <laughs> or that y'all let me know in the comments what y'all are excited about so that I can see if any of those are anything that has interested me. You know, help me out. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna go. I hope that y'all are recovering nicely from the holiday season. Um, if you celebrate or not, I hope it was a great day regardless. I hope that nobody tried you, at least not too much. I hope that y'all weren't out here at your family's homes being misgendered or mistreated or anything like that. I know that there are a lot of people 
who hate going home for the holidays because they they have to deal with the BS. I hope that you didn't have to deal with the BS. And if you did have to deal with the BS, I hope that um, you take some time to, you know, do some self-care and some, you know, cutting people off. Sit down and read your manga. Bye. A little twerk. Hey, 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 hey. 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 This is an end of the holiday twerk. Hey, 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 hey. End of the holiday twerk. Hey. <laughs> Give me just a second and I'll be alright. Do 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 If only I could get through this. Dancing you right now.